together, hey, hey, yeah, we are, wear your mask, wash your hands, keep your distance six feet apart, hey, oh, hey, 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 hey. Oh, that's as far as I've gotten so far. Hi, my, uh, my name is Ray Thunderchild. And um, I come from uh, the Thunderchild Cree Nation in Saskatchewan. And I've made my home here in Vancouver, going on 30 years in March next year. And um, I kind of like it here, you know, look at the beautiful day today. Look at these tall trees here. We don't get these back home. You know, if we do, even if we do, they chop them down right away because that's a landmark, you know. But um, yeah, it's, you know, like I've been, I've been singing all my life. My singing is my life. That's the only thing I know. I can talk English. I can, you know, teach singing. I make my own, my own, my own drums when I sing. I never buy a drum. I always make my own. So I've always been taught if I want to make something bad, if I want to use something bad enough, I have to work for it. So here I am, making my own drums, using them for performances, and, uh, and then, you know, just plain old, just enjoying singing with them. And um, you know, this is something that I like to do sometimes, you just share with a lot of people of who I am and where I come from. So yeah, it's uh, been nice to be, you know, to be in BC for the past uh, 29 and a half years. And I would say maybe, I don't know, I've been thinking of going home, but that's just as far as it got, it's just thinking, I got a headache for doing that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My, one of my songbooks is not playing right now. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Uh.
my name is Nyla Caponche. I'm of the Teltan and Casca First Nation. I'm also French and Scottish. And my favorite thing about being Indigenous is dancing, is actually being able to powwow and dance and celebrate culture. And um, over the years, you know, I started dancing when I was about two years old and I've been dancing now for about 35 years. And that's what I loved about it is because dancing always brought my family together and even my non-Indigenous family would come to powwows to watch me dance. And I thought that's what I love about that our culture is that the ways, it, different ways it brings us together. And also the fact that um, being Indigenous, our culture shows that we are still here. We've always been here and our cultures evolve. They grow, they're, they're not stagnant. You know, we're always discovering new dance moves or advancing our dances and stuff and creating new songs. So that's what I love about being Indigenous. And I feel like every day should be National Indigenous People's Day, um, you know, to celebrate who we are as a people. And I'm very well, I've been dancing in Fancy Shawl a good 34 years. My first year I started off as traditional, but it, I was too bouncy. Quickly moved to Fancy Shawl because Fancy Shawl dancers have way more fun, <laughs> you know. Uh, so that's why I dance Fancy Shawl and I've been dancing ever since. Uh, the Vancouver Friendship Center brought us all together, going there on Tuesday nights, family nights. Uh, I really look forward when this pandemic lifts and we're able to go back there again. But that's where uh, I first met Wraith Underchild and first heard him sing. Enjoy everyone! <laughs> Kill the flame of our pride. You'll feel the heat up. We are so honored to be sharing some of our songs uh, today for National Indigenous <laughs> Peoples Day and for Savage uh, Productions. Society. Society. Savage Society. <laughs> Society. Yeah. So we're just going to share some songs with you um, uh, today. Um, my name is Renai Morso. I'm Cree and Soto from the Treaty One Territory. I am Buju Tier Laporte, um, Anishinaabe on my mother's side, European on my father's from the Fishing Lake Reserve in Saskatchewan, and my sister Tracy White Soto. Uh, Ani Buju. My name is Jennifer Brusso. I'm Anishinaabe from Northern Ontario, and uh, my spirit name is Hobichiki Migibi Ikle Wai Igolan. Cool. And we are. And we are. McGirl. McGirl. We're actually thinking of changing our name to McCookums. Because <laughs> yes, you know, we are. We're not, we're not like, yeah, we are the McCookums. Anyway, it's just like something we'll think about maybe another 10 years or something. We'll, we, we can put a vote out. We'll put a vote out. <laughs> oh, yeah. we'll put a vote. We should be called McCookums. <laughs> so we're gathered here today to celebrate and honor all of the work of our ancestors and all the people that have moved and shaped and given us the opportunity to share our songs. This is a gathering song of the Anishinaabe that was gifted to uh, to us through Sherry Miracle and Sheila Miracle and Jenny Lazon. It goes like this.
good. <laughs> <laughs> so this song, this is the one that you, you guys taught taught me. The uh, it's I love a, you. It's a perfect song. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's perfect perfect song. Song. It's one of your songs. Okay. Yeah. So how's it go again? Uh, we, 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 Okay, got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got two minutes. Our process. Roll around yeah. in there. through the late um, Shirley James and she allowed us um, <coughs> to record two of her songs uh, from the Unkukwatmoch people. Shirley James, the late Shirley James is a, a residential school survivor um, and she did a lot of work in the community in terms of uh, working at the, the, the school there and um, doing a lot of traditional music um, at the elementary school and stuff so uh, this is out to the Unkukwatmoch people and to children this is the lullaby song. Ah, she ma Ah, 
Shema Shechu Shame Ho <laughs> I'd like to actually uh, sing another um, uh, Shirley James song. This one is a healing song, and um, um, uh, she would say uh, she was saying to me that that because of her residential school experience, um, you know, healing for for all people, um, and um, this song was was uh, one that she shared with us uh, in her community uh, many many years ago.
for our, our last song, I just want to thank the organizers um, and, and for all the, the work that theater companies are doing, especially in this time of COVID. So the fact that uh, Savage Productions has society. Productions <laughs> <laughs> produce stuff. Yeah. They, produ they don't yeah. produce. They produce a Sahel game, like a bone game. Like I mean, they're doing some amazing things. No, let alone all of the stuff that uh, you know that they allow us to share our songs with you, uh, with you today. So thank you. And I just want to thank the ancestors of the Coast Salish, of the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh for allowing us and our songs to find home here on these territories, uh, which is now called um, Vancouver. So the song I want to send is to the organizers, to the producers. And uh, this song is an honor song that my brother, the late Frank Satie, would 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 say, um, you know, to give thanks to the two-legged, to the four-legged, to the winged ones, to the ones with fins, uh, to the sixteen-legged, like those bugs, <laughs> um, to all Sad. things. Yeah, slugs. Yeah. yeah, I have slugs in my garden. Yeah, I'm gonna start a support group. <laughs> Why? Thank you.